Croft Circuit in North Yorkshire played host to rounds 13, 14 and 15 of this year's action-packed Dunlop MSA British Touring Car Championship. With the points table finally poised coming into the weekend, fans flocked to the track in their thousands to see Britain's best drivers battle it out for supremacy. It was also a milestone weekend in the series history as the BTCC welcomed its first disabled competitor into the fray. Nicholas Hamilton, brother of reigning Formula One world champion Lewis, got behind the wheel of his AMD tuning.com Audi S3 for the first time and enjoyed a trouble-free weekend of progress as he acclimatised to the fast pace of the UK's top championship. As action commenced on Saturday, Sam Tordoff laid down a marker in free practice before storming to his first pole position of 2015. The local driver just edged out WSR stablemate Andy Prio by seven hundredths of a second. And it was almost a BMW 1-2-3 as Rob Collard was pipped by the Honda of Gordon Shedden for third. As the lights went out in Sunday's first encounter, Collard grabbed the position from the Scotsman to make it a trio of one series into turn one. Tordoff and Prio maintained position for the first five laps, but there was soon a change at the top as a slight mistake at the chicane from Tordoff as spots of rain began to fall, handed the lead to his triple world champion teammate. Trailing the top trio was Shedden's Civic Type R, which impressively held fourth despite being heavily laden with success ballast. The biggest battle of the race was for fifth place as Rob Austin's Audi jostled with the Volkswagen of Colin Turkington early on. Both would eventually drop down the order as Matt Neal's Honda and Andrew Jordan's MG blasted past in the final few laps. Right at the back was double champion Jason Plato, who pitted at the end of the green flag lap. The plan was to sacrifice race one in order to set a fast lap and ultimately a good grid position for the second bout later in the afternoon. He would start that contest from third. Tordoff made no mistake in race two as he dominated proceedings from start to finish. The Yorkshireman blasted off the line before setting about extending his lead back to the chasing pack. That pack was initially headed by race one winner Prio before he lost out to the Volkswagen duo of Jason Plato and Colin Turkington before he'd had the chance to generate enough heat into his Dunlop tyres. He was able to hound the stealth-like Team BMR machines for the remainder, but the trio held station until the finish. Collard continued his scrap with Shedden, which would become a theme throughout the day as the two dueled it out for fifth. The Honda Civic Type R eventually came out on top, but it wasn't without drama as the two cars touched at high speed. Collard tried several times to repass his Scottish rival late on, but to no avail as Shedden held firm. Any attempt for a passing manoeuvre was made all the more difficult when Turn 1 became a yellow flag zone for the final few laps due to a huge accident for Josh Cook's Chevrolet Cruze. The young charger walked away completely unharmed and he'd be back for the final showdown later in the afternoon. The race belonged to Tordoff, however, as he surged across the line to score his second win of the season and fire himself right back into championship contention. Race three became round three of the Collard versus Shedden bout, with the WSR man leading the way off the line. The 2012 champion was ahead shortly after, but the tail was far from over. With Shedden's soft tyre shod Civic beginning to struggle for performance, the BMW 125i M Sport was all over the back of the Japanese machine on lap 12. A slight love tap followed, which allowed Collard's BMW to sneak inside the Honda on the run to the chicane. Shedden straight-lined the right-left kink as he regained his composure, but the move was already complete and Collard was through. Shedden's BMW battle took another turn for the worse on the final lap as Prio hauled his car onto the back of the Honda. With Collard completing a joyful and historic hat-trick for WSR, there was more late celebration to come as Prio stole second from Shedden on the final corner of the final lap. It was far from a disaster for Shedden, however, as he has now moved into the championship lead at the midway stage of the season. BTCC's two newcomers saved their best until last, with support our Paras racing driver Max Coates taking 20th, while Nicholas Hamilton claimed 22nd. When heart rates had returned to normal, Louise Goodman caught up with race one winner Andy Prio as he reflected on his first BTCC win since his return to the series. 
Well, Andy, it's a, it's a weekend for you to savour. Your, your first win back here in British Touring Cars. Yeah, really good. Really happy to get that win done and dusted. You know, first four races were really good, but didn't get that win. And now I've got it. It sort of takes the pressure off a little bit. Obviously, it's, it's only going to get harder as the season continues. So I need more wins and keep pushing hard. Well, you've got a little bit of a break now to, to sort of savour the moment, but then obviously we're, we're on to Snetterton. How do you see things shaping up there? I think if it's anything like the last three or four races, it's difficult to pick a winner. It's going to be really tough. Um, the racing today, I think, has been great. I think Snetterton is going to make it, it the, the nature of the circuit. Um, there's a lot more overtaking opportunities there. The new track is really, really good. So I expect it to be a really tough fight. And uh, I hope that we can be in the mix, but also you can't, you can't rule out Honda and and VW, they're all going to be fast. There's 10 guys that can win races right now. So it sounds like it's going to be an exciting race for fans who come along. Yeah, I mean, if it's anything like today, you know, the crowd's been fantastic, big crowd here, and all the last races we've had lots of fans. I think that's because the racing's so good and um, so tough. And, uh, you know, everyone wants to see a spectacle, and I think BTCC is putting that on right now. It is, it's a race where a lot of fans will, will come for the whole weekend. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a motorsport festival for them, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time, Lou, since I've been at Snetterton. So, um, obviously, when I used to go there in my early days, it was always a great crowd. Um, the circuit now has improved. I think the, um, the, the, the racing's got a lot closer now. This is the toughest year, I think, or one of the toughest years in British Touring Car, where, as I say, at least 10 guys can win races. So, uh, I, I think the crowd's going to come out and watch a, a really titanic battle. So, BMWs have dominated this weekend in Croft. Who do you see, if anybody, dominating proceedings uh, next time out? I have to say that I think VW is going to be very strong. Um, its top speed is brilliant, so Snetterton will suit that car along with the Honda, and I hope that I can be in the mix as well. Um, we, I think we've had a fantastic weekend at Croft, but we've got to raise our game if we want to win at Snetterton. See you there. Yeah, I look forward to it.